These are 30 American sayings that are fairly common in the United States and that may be confusing to people from um, other countries. Piece of cake. Piece of cake means that it is easy. So if they say, oh, it's a piece of cake, then that means, oh, this is fairly easy and it shouldn't be difficult. Scoot over. When people ask you to scoot over in America, it means that they want you to move a little bit. You know, they want you to, to um, stand up and sit someplace else or just, you know, um, slide over and onto the onto another chair because they want to sit there. It doesn't mean anything about a scooter. <clears throat> Put lipstick on a pig. I've heard of this one. Um, it basically means that you are trying to make something pretty or you are trying to make something that um, is lacking. You're trying to make it um, appealing. So anything that you have that's ugly or um, lacking or not working and you just try to make it um, better, you're basically putting lipstick on a pig because you can clean the pig up, but it's going to be the same ugly pig. Break a leg. You hear this a lot when the people are going to perform or they are going to give a presentation. They do not want the person to actually injure themselves. They're saying that to wish them luck. Knock on wood. It is not that you are going to, you know, go knock on a door. It, it basically means that... If you say something and you don't want something to happen, you can knock on a piece of wood and the um, result or superstition is, is that um, you won't have jinxed it by knocking, by saying it. So, for example, if you say, well, um, I've never... Um, gotten a speeding ticket well you knock on and then somebody says you better knock on wood because you're going to go out and you're going to get a speeding ticket not a big fan that means they don't like it it's not rocket science that means it's not complicated it's not difficult. So if you say it's not rocket scientists, it should be easy to find out what's going on. Break a bill. That's not a duck. That means that they want you to make change for their money. So if you say, can you break this $5 bill? They want you to give them four ones and maybe of um, some quarters. mystery meat that means that you do not know what is in the food it could be hot dogs it could be spam it could be something that's on your plate that looks like hamburger you don't know what it is is it from a pig is it from a cat is it from a uh, ostrich Fanny pack. That's like a, a, a wallet that can, um, that goes around your waist. It looks like this. Let's table this. That means that we're going to stop talking about it and we're going to come back and talk about it later. 
Don't be such a weight blanket. That means they don't want you to be a dud. They don't want you to, <clears throat> they don't want you to, um, be boring. Like, let's all go party. And she's like, no, I don't want to go party. I want to stay home because if I go party, we could get in trouble. And they're going, you're such a wet blanket. You're going to put the fire out. Jump the shark means it's something. Um, it's going longer than it should. Because it's no longer relevant. You know, they've gotten off the path and they are just making shows and they're boring and they're um, just crazy. Long in the tooth means someone is old. Green thumbs means that people that can um, plant gardens or plant flowers and they do well. Means anything that they plant, they can grow. Keeper means that they want to, that they like having you and um, that, that they want to, that they want to keep you in their life. They think that you are valuable. Horseback riding. And they're saying that makes no sense. Where else would you sit? Ate it, you know, it means like he completely fell, he hurt himself, he, you know, didn't do well. How are you? That means that they're asking, you know, it, it means that they're saying, how are you? Um, you're saying hi, um, it just basically means that they, they're saying, how are you? And they don't want you to actually tell them how you're doing unless you're like close friends. They just want you to basically talk to them and give you, um, you know, say hello. Period means that it's it's over. It's done. So when they say, I am going outside, period, that means it's not open for discussion. Behind the eight ball means that you are really in a bad place. And, and there's really no way out. Working the graveyard shift means you're working overnight. You're not actually working in a graveyard. You're just working overnight. Canadian bacon is like ham. It looks like this. First base, second base, that means how um, far you go on a date. First base, you know, hands, you know, um, kissing. Second base, you might get, you know, under the shirt. You know, and so um, home run means you slept. Up my alley means that, you know, um, up my alley means that it's very, um, sorry, my thing went. Up your alley means that it is, you really understand what is going on and you really are knowledgeable about something.
Under the weather means you're sick. Tell me about it. That there, That's just them saying, oh my goodness, keep saying this. It means keep um, talking about it. It also means like, I know what you mean, you know, and they're just agreeing with you. Shoot the breeze means that you are just really talking. It could be like gossip or just having casual conversation. Monday morning quarterback, that means that you are evaluating what happened, you know, um, after the fact. That means that you're being critical or you're observing something after, um, after something has already taken place. It came because it said Monday morning quarterback basically meant that they had watched the game on Sunday. And then they came in and said, if I was the quarterback, I would have done this. I would have done that. Spill the beans means they want you to tell me everything. It means that they um, like a secret or, you know, um, you know, I said I wasn't going to say anything, but this happened. I'm spilling the beans. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.